if, if these folks wind up getting married, <laughs> are they going to have a story to tell? Mark, it's going to be one great story to tell. All right, if you were on social media Saturday night, you likely saw that picture right there. I've done a lot of stories in my career. This next one is a first. The dating game is a whole different ball game these days. A viral second date, thanks to a nosy roommate and a D-backs Twitter account willing to play ball. Meet Matthew. I was the one going on the date, which was just supposed to be, you know, your average second date to a baseball game on a Saturday night. And Connor was the one that, you know, blew all this I put up. out the tweets. Like any good roommate, Connor wanted to check in and see how Matthew's date was going at the ballpark. So he reached out to the D-backs Twitter account for some help. Said, hey, can you guys just zoom it out a little bit? I'm trying to see what's going on. He wasn't exactly where we thought he was going to be. He was uh, like a few rows over, but... After a little bit of back and forth, we found him, and the rest is kind of history. The second they panned to us on the big screen, that's when I knew I was in trouble. Trouble in the form of live updates about how his date was going via social media for the entire world to see. We had security guards come up to us and show tweets. There was a fan that came up and wanted a photo. I mean, it, was, it became this huge thing. Like, after we were leaving the game, there was fans outside the stadium that they pointed at their phone and were like, hey, you're the guy with the hat. Or you're, it was just... <laughs> It turned into something that we could never imagine. To know if, like, this relationship does blossom into something, it's a story that we can remember at the beginning of it. The D-backs gave the couple, who've only known each other a few weeks, a couple of baseballs to remember the occasion. She said her brother sent her an article this morning, her whole family knows. Time out. So her parents know her, about you? Her parents. You've even, like... Exactly. <laughs> before, they know about me through this whole whatever has happened, her entire family. And it's just, I don't know. But Matthew does know everything went well enough for a third date. But how do you top that? The whole world is like rooting for this to succeed. Totally. I have this burden on my shoulders that I cannot let Twitter down because they're expecting a great third date, and I, I really don't want to mess that up. So hopefully oh. things go well. Matthew, Emma, we wish you the best of luck, guys. My only request is that if that the wedding happens at Chase Field oh, and the entire valley is invited. It's got to yeah. be. Or, or <laughs> sure. he could go to a Suns or Coyotes. <laughs> Get on there. Get on there. <laughs> have three different ways. Exactly. Right. Now, now, big picture, a third, I like that. Fourth, a fifth date. Yeah. How, yeah. Many, how many proteins so do we have in Arizona? Is, is the guy a good roommate <laughs> or a bad roommate for blasting? Um. Well, if they end up married, he's a great roommate. There you go. If they break up after the third date, I guess. Then he's going to be looking for a new roommate. <laughs> new roommate. <laughs> and, well, and a new girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cam.